Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Friday Jazz Happy Hour. It's episode 205, maybe, for April 19th. I am your host, Bill Walker, and uh, we are glad to be with you this evening. Um, had a few uh, <clears throat> a few funny things happen to, while getting ready. Um, uh, I turned things on in a different order. And so, you know, plug in the video switcher. Um, and I usually turn the cameras on first. And I did that in the other order. And the video switcher acted as though it wasn't there at all. Which was uh, concerning. And it led me down a troubleshooting path that was totally unhelpful. So then, uh, somehow I got back on track with that. Anyway. And I forgot to send out the email. So, uh, MailChimp folks, I hope you will be able to find us here. Sorry for the delay on that. It is beautiful, bright, sun, summery weather here in Santa Clara. Hope you're having good weather. Hope you got your taxes done, those of you who, uh, who do that here in the U.S. And uh, let's ease into the happy hour mood with uh, a cute little original blues tune. This one's called Swim Shebang.
and swim shebang. Uh, an anagram for a famous Thelonious Monk tune called Bemsha Swing. Alrighty, so here, uh, now we're going to do uh, one of our two Brazilian tunes for this evening. And this one uh, is uh, Jobim Basta. I'm going to take it a sprightly tempo. Um, and uh, got some, if uh, those who are attentive listeners, you can hear some uh, accordion uh, tracks in the background. But first, I neglected to send any greetings in the chat room. So let me pause and do that. Jim Armstrong is here. says it's five o'clock somewhere. Happy Friday, Jim. And Barry and maybe Ginger are here. Happy Friday to you. Nancy knows in the house. Gwen is here. And Anne. And Carol to duty. Hey, hey Carol. Um, so, uh, lovely to see you all. Uh, thanks for tuning in. And uh, now, the music of Carlos, Antonio Carlos Rubim, Chega de Saudade, which is No More Blues. Thank you. 
That's uh, Shaggy Day Saudaji, No More Blues. I don't know what crazy person picked that tempo. Uh, Ginger, let's see. Uh, Barry says that Ginger's making the Southside cocktail, and uh, Lizzie is there. Happy Friday to you, too. I've read about that. Never tried making it. Bob and Julie are here. Happy Friday to you. Hope you're having a good one. Um, yeah, I uh, wanted to say, I don't know if Alan, uh, a.k.a. Scottish Wildcat, will join us tonight, but I had a chance to speak with him and his fellow composers at the College of San Mateo Composers Club this week, and that was big fun. We had a nice chat about composition and improvisation, and I played some of the uh, nature videos that we've been doing as the closers for the show and had a good think about those. So it was really rewarding. Excellent group of people. Um, I continue to be so impressed with the community college system here in the state of California. And uh, KCSM, or College of San Mateo, such a beautiful campus. I had a chance to go there quite a while ago with Penguin Jazz Quartet and play at their festival, the Jazz on the Hill. Very fond memories of that. All right. Let's take something from the, uh, from the Broadway Show Tunes collection uh, from Rogers and Hart. This tune is called, This Can't Be Love. Thank you. 
This can't be love. It's hearing some weird sound in the background there. This can't be love from Rogers and Hart. Is that tune? And uh, yeah, love that melody. Very festive. Alrighty then. Um, let's see. I wanted to uh, mention a couple of things. It remains the Santa Clara Valley Santa Clara Valley Audubon Society uh, Birdathon season. And uh, I will be going out with uh, my friend and uh, ultramarathon specialist, Steve Pat, on a bicycle ride next Wednesday. We're calling ourselves Lean Green Birding Machines. If you want to sponsor that, you can go over to scvas.org and check it out. I believe our own uh, friends of the show, Barry and Ginger, are doing a birdathon uh, in the next few days. Maybe they can tell us about that here in the chat. Uh, lots of good causes. And my friend Sue is doing a, a really cool birdathon where she her goal is to uh, make audio recordings of as many species as possible, which is a great uh, twist on the whole see it or photograph it or sketch it uh, plan. So love that. Also, I want to pitch another event coming up um, next week from tomorrow is the, uh, is the Wildflower Show down at West Valley College, co-sponsored by West Valley College uh, Biology Department and the California Native Plant Society. So next Saturday, you can go check out a ton of super cool uh, plants that have been collected. You can see some amazing... Um, local garden projects that their biology department is doing on campus there. And yours truly, I will be playing from 10 to noon. So if you get there in the morning next Saturday at West Valley, uh, look me up and wave hi. Let's see. A uh, report from Barry here in the chat. Uh, Ginger and Barry did 125 species yesterday in San Luis Obispo County. The first time they've seen more than 100 species in a day. That is excellent. I bet that was really fun. Uh, good on you. I will. Our birding trip, we, or see, our bicycling trip, rather, we don't always get to 100, but we've decided to to go for the 10-hour category that, instead of the 4-hour category, so that might buy us a little extra time. So we're going to see if we can get to 100. I didn't talk to Steve about that, but that's what I think we can do. Okay. Um, I'd like to do a, a really lovely... A uh, shorter ballad for you now. Uh, it's a Brazilian tune, and it's called Ternura. Let me go get the accordion. Okay, there we go. Hey, John and Tessa are here. Happy Friday, y'all. Um, little brown jobs, yes, yes. Even the, those of us who spend a lot of time doing it still encounter the phenomenon of brown birds that are hard to tell apart. It's usually easier in the spring, though, because they've got their getting their breeding plumage on and wanting to show off for each other. Anyway, uh, as I was saying... Uh, here is a uh, a lovely ballad by, uh, I hope I'm getting this guy's name right, Um The tune is called Ternura.
And that one's called Ternura. Uh, Ann Jolly says she likes that. Thanks, Ann. It's, uh, I'm still learning it. I'm trying to just get the right hand to do what it's supposed to do and not even do the left hand part yet. Um, oh, such a beautiful melody. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Jim is, uh, got some hazy IPA happening. That sounds good. Anybody else got something tasty in your glass? Let us know what it is. Um, and uh, let me set this down just a second. Let's see. Ginger really loves the accordion. Me too, man. I am, uh, headphones on backwards. I am, uh, yeah, looking forward to getting back with my, uh, Brazilian and Charlotte group that meets once a month. Try to get those, uh, muscles going again. Uh, it does so many things. A uh, reminder that there is a big festival in Cotati in August, um, with a bunch of different kinds of music. Uh, an accordion festival, I mean to say. Definitely worthwhile. All right, maybe we'll uh, we'll do one more and then we'll talk to the cats. Oh, Kira's ready. You're just going to have to wait a sec, Kira. Because first we need to do our waltz for today and also dip into our uh, Disney catalog. I think you're going to know this one.
All right. Someday my prince will come. Is that tune um, from Snow White, I guess. Um, I love that melody so much. And uh, definitely thinking of Toots Telemann on the uh, harmonic when I'm playing that one. All right, Jim makes a reference to a band called Those Darn Accordions. I have heard Those Darn Accordions. I actually have a Those Darn Accordions t-shirt. And uh, at this festival in Katadi, I was mentioning, uh, every year they have a uh, audience play along where all the accordions in the uh, in the place, which is a lot, all get up and play Lady of Spain. So somewhere I have an iPhone video of me playing Lady of Spain with, yeah, 100 other people. Great stuff. Okay. Um, let us now... Uh, Let's now see if we can get the cats to show up. I suspect Kira will certainly do it. Got to do a little camera rearranging here. One moment. Alrighty then. We have four cats. We like to get them on camera. Um, they're such an important part of the house. Uh, that's Rosie there on the left, Kira in the back, Morgan on the right, and Neo in the foreground. The fabulous four. Oh, uh, Ginger is saying it's Sleeping Beauty. Yeah, okay. Thank you. So it looks like the... Looks like the camera lens is dirty. Is that better? Oh, much better. Okay. Got to put that on the checklist, y'all. Wipe the uck off the iPhone lens. All right, good job, kitties. Uh, and then since we're paused, let me just say a word about our um, our tip jar today. Uh, in lieu of a physical tip jar, we like to draw your attention to different charities. And um, today I just want to bring our attention back to something we've talked about before, which is World Central Kitchen. They're just uh, They're just feeding people, you know. They're just trying to give people food who don't have food, and I don't think I don't think anybody can argue with that. And they do it in a lot of places that are in big trouble. Uh, you may have heard about them doing feeding in Gaza, but other places as well. So, and their leader, uh, Jose Andres, am I saying that right? He seems to be uh, just a, a phenomenal human, just tirelessly going where needed and organizing lots of local people to cook and distribute food. So. Uh, if you like what you hear, I hope you could take your browser over to wck.org and drop him a few bucks there. and Tell him Bill sent you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, right on. Now more, um, more melodica and more Brazilian music. Uh, this one, um, I know from, uh, organist Larry Goldings has a version of this. It's called Caminos Cruzados. And, uh, mm, 
just love this melody, so I'm thinking of his arrangement. Let me make an adjustment over here, one sec. My line of sight messed up. Okay, I think that's it. All right, this tune is called the Caminos Cruzados. Thank you. 
Caminos Cruzados from Antonio Carlos Jobim. Such a pretty tune. <sighs> okay. Love that one. All right. Now for something completely different. I'm going to uh going to try a pop song on you. It's kind of obscure. So uh but those of you who are um familiar with the back catalog for uh Peter Gabriel, you'll know this one. And uh I can I'm pretty sure from my notes it's now the third key I've tried to sing this in. Um and uh I keep moving it down. <laughs> um and it just I don't know. It it depends on the microphone and uh, lots of things, but I think I'm trying to find my comfort zone, and it's a little bit better in this key. So, uh, now in the key of C minor, here's a tune called uh, Here Comes the Flood. Shows the signals grow on radios. All the strange things they come and go as early warnings. Stranded starfish have no place to hide. Still waiting for the swollen Easter tide. There's no point in direction We cannot even choose a side I took the old track The hollow shoulder across the waters On the tall cliffs they were getting older Sons and daughters, the jaded underworld was riding high. Waves of steel hurled metal at the sky. And as the nail sunk in the cloud, the rain was warm and soaked the crowd. Lord, here comes the flood We'll say goodbye to flesh and blood If again the seas are silent in any still alive It'll be those who gave their island to survive Drink up Dreamers You're running dry When the flood calls You have no home You have no walls In the thunder crash You're a thousand miles Within a flash don't be afraid to cry at what you see The actor's gone, there's only you and me And if we break before the dawn They'll use up what we used to be The flood. We'll 
we'll say goodbye to flesh and blood if again the seas are silent in any still alive it'll be those who gave their island to survive drink up dreamers you're running dry That's a Peter Gabriel song called Here Comes the Flood. And, uh, yeah, I think that's the right key for me. It's really surprising how changing just by a half step or a whole step can make a big difference. Um, I'm not sure what the lyrics are about um, right now for me. They're about grief. Um, but there's always something interesting that comes out for me when I sing those words. Okay. Now I want to cool down a little bit. Um, I have a favorite set of sounds that I've been fiddling with lately. And so, um, and, oh, Barry liked that. Thank you, Barry. So, uh, to cool down, I'm going to... Um, do some uh, sort of uh, ambient type stuff here. I have a a background sound that reminds me of Bill Frizzell. And so uh, let us uh, take a deep cleansing breath and um, and uh, just uh, take a little sound bath here.
All right, just gonna let those funny noises run in the background there. That is gonna do it for uh, Friday Jazz Happy Hour on, uh, on uh, what is it? April 19th, 2024, I think we're at episode 205, y'all. Hard to believe. Um, thank you so much for tuning in, I really appreciate it. Um, Julie Jolly reminds us that we could hit that like button that helps other people find the show. So thank you for that. Um, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and that'll let you know when we're on the air and you can also get notifications if you want. Um, we have a website at FridayJazzHappyHour.com uh, where you can sign up for our email mailing list and link to the YouTube playlist where all the shows are there for your uh, playback pleasure anytime you want. Uh, let's see. We'll be back in your feed next Friday. Um, and so let me just remind you about uh, World Central Kitchen, WCK.org, as our uh, charity today. Um, also be thinking about your favorite birdathon team at scvas.org. And then finally, come down to West Valley College in Saratoga for the Wildflower Show next Saturday at 9.30 till 5.00. Uh, lots of kind words from Bob and Julie and from uh, Barry and Ginger and Jim. Thanks, y'all, so much. Thank you, Gwen. Really appreciate y'all. Um, I uh, I was talking to that Composers Club today about, or, or this week, about how getting the chance to uh, make music and have an audience every week is such a, such a gift, um, such a beautiful thing. So thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, y'all stay hydrated and stay healthy, and uh, I will see you next week.